Meteorologist Dave Nussbaum for the latest on what we can expect, Dave. Well, Conan, we've been through many storms like this in the past. It's going to be another event for us we're talking about, and hopefully not historic, but that's something we obviously need to be prepared for. And you need to be prepared at home as well, too, as we move into the day tomorrow. Know your severe weather plan, know where to go. I'll talk more about that here coming up in a bit. But right now, though, this is what's happening right now. No severe weather, by the way. We're just looking at scattered showers out there, a few rumbles of thunder this hour as well, too, and some heavier downpours the farther south you go towards, say, Selma, Clanton area, eventually toward a Tumka heading toward Alexander City here at town. Some light rain. If you're heading out to lunch, not looking too bad out there. Just keep the umbrella rain jacket with you as well. Further off, you go to the East Pell City. A little bit of some light rain heading toward Aniston. Gadsden looking pretty good there. Over toward Lionville, a little more rain kind of stretching back towards Sylacauga now. Maybe a quick little downpour your way. Tuscaloosa area again, not much happening now. A few more showers kind of working the way on in just off to your north and west there, but uh, really just looking at some lighter rain showers across much of the area here. Heaviest rain by far has been down to the south here coming out of South Mississippi, not too far from Meridian heading near Selma, not quite to Montgomery, just persistent heavy storms coming there. There are flash flood watches you see popping up there and flash flood warnings as well. Tail end of this front, that's kind of where that is. Now the front's going to stall down here today. I wish this front would push all the way down the Gulf of Mexico it would be a totally different story weather wise for us tomorrow, but Mother Nature said not so fast. We're not quite doing that. So with the front lingering here, it's going to eventually kind of meet up with this warm front coming out of Texas and all this is what it's going to do is bring back a a lot of moisture from the Gulf of Mexico heading into tomorrow. It's already kind of humid out there. It's going to be even more humid tomorrow, and that's going to be fuel for those showers and thunderstorms. Right now, temperatures 67, a little cool out there, but there was dew point 64 degrees. That's starting to get a little bit on the muggy side here across central Alabama. Now, scattered showers and storms will continue through dinner time tonight, and even a few more till about 9 o'clock. By 11 o'clock, we start to dry out just a little bit. There is a risk for severe weather today, but it's low. Level one marginal risk for 40 to 60 mile per hour winds could maybe see some large hail with a few storms. I can't rule out a tornado threat is low for today, but for our area here in central Alabama, uh, we just have to keep an eye on some of those things. The better chance is going to be down toward where that front is located there as you get toward the Montgomery area. So there's our front scattered showers continue across the area with some downpours at times, maybe a few areas with some hail through four o'clock as the kids come home from school. Dinner time tonight, we're still looking at some scattered showers out there. And as we head to about 10 o'clock tonight, the bulk of the rain kind of stays south tomorrow morning. That Warm front you saw that kind of working its way northward. Here comes those southerly winds I was talking about. Quiet weather. Morning headed to work, headed to school. No problem. Lunchtime around 8 o'clock to 12 o'clock there. Not looking at a big problem either. But things change by the afternoon. That's going to be round one. Round two is going to be the bigger problem for us. The evening and overnight. That's when some strong tornadoes will be possible across the area as we headed to tomorrow. We are going to be in a level four out of five. You see there is a scale over there for is your a moderate risk there and that is for we're talking about all of or just about all of central here Alabama strong tornadoes large hail up to one to two inches golf ball size hail almost there widespread 80 mile per hour winds possible with this as well as we headed to tomorrow looking at those threats high winds practically extreme when you're talking 80 miles per hour there tornado is high there are large hail high flooding threat high as well too with heavy rain so looking at the timing here about 1 p.m. to 1 a.m. in the far northwest 3 p.m. to 3 a.m. in the middle part of central Alabama and 5 p.m. to 5 a.m. there in the far southeastern part of the viewing area. So timing it out for you. You'll see here tomorrow again, maybe a couple showers, 9 o'clock in the morning. Lunchtime, you may see some sunshine. That is not a good thing. This makes the atmosphere more unstable. Here comes some of the storms. About time school lets out, we may see some storms popping up there. Continuing on into 8 o'clock, you see these individual storms. They're the ones we have to worry about. They start rotating, becoming tornadic as well, too. Then we have the line of storms coming in from the west at 11 o'clock heading on into Birmingham here by noon or rather midnight rather and these storms strong severe straight line winds and tornadoes continue through two o'clock in the morning finally pushes to the east of us by 5 a.m. and then we clear things out by 6 a.m. Great weather expected cooler weather and drier weather heading into Thursday. If you don't already have it, make sure you download the CBS 42 app or update it too as well. Great place, uh, great app to get some weather information. Of course, know your tornado safe spot. Best place as we all know is in the basement. If you don't have a basement interior your bathroom or closet away from windows and the next best place to go just to give you a little heads up of what you can expect for to do for tomorrow. So weather alert for tomorrow, 77 degrees cooler and drier weather does return as we head into the weekend. All right, thanks a lot.